Hello again everybody and welcome to BarbecueRubs.com YouTube channel. It's another beautiful sunny day here in South Florida and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite recipes. I'm going to show you how to make Johnny Triggs uh, rib recipe. Now this is something that uh, we get a lot of uh, emails about on, uh, over on our website BarbecueRubs.com and I'm going to show you step by step today exactly how to make Johnny Triggs rib recipe. Okay, the first thing we need to do to make Johnny Triggs recipe is to get the grill started. So uh, right now, grill is uh, off, uh, clean from the last time we used the grill. Uh, so let's get a chimney uh, worth of uh, coal ready on the go. So uh, here I have some uh, uh, Kingsford uh, charcoal briquettes and uh, here's my uh, chimney starter. So uh, I'm going to uh, just remove my grill here. See that down there my chimney starter on there and for this I'm going to need to fill it uh, up with about 60 40 to 60 charcoal briquettes so that's uh, enough for uh, what we're doing today and uh, now all I need to do is uh, light it so uh, let's uh, get the gas on the go here and and let's wait for that to warm up All right, so now that's warming up, what we're going to be doing now is preparing our ribs. And uh, what I've got here is some, uh, some Lewis style uh, spare ribs. Uh, so let's get these out of the packet. The first thing we need to do is remove the, uh, the silver skin from the back of these uh, ribs. So let's uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, and turn these over. So what we're going to do here is we're going to trim off a little bit of this fat. You see this is uh, a nice well marbled uh, ribs and uh, we are going to uh, trim off some of this silver skin. So the best thing to do here is to use a uh, sharp knife and we're going to dig in between these uh, ribs here and just lift up some of this skin so we can peel it off. And uh, it's a little tricky so you do need to persevere and uh, we're just going to uh, uh, cheat a little here and just kind of split this up. This looks like it's going to be quite a tricky one to be honest with you. So. Uh, I'm just going to split these like this and uh, then I'm going to take uh, some uh, Dijon mustard I have here uh, which is my favorite and I'm going to cover the ribs in the mustard now this is really for the, uh, the dry rub which we're going to use which is Williams Foucault rib tickler to adhere to whilst we're uh, cooking these uh, ribs. So there we go, that's a nice general slathering of Dijon mustard. Let me give my hands a little clean here. And, uh, wow, the uh, grill is uh, really getting ready there. And uh, let's use some of this, uh, this rib tickler. So we want a generous seasoning all over of this on all sides. Let's turn it over. And Williams Rib Tickler is available from barbecuerubs.com for $9.99. Just uh, search for uh, Rib Tickler Rub and you'll be able to buy it. Or click on the link from our uh, video here. All right, so we've got plenty of rub on here. That's all looking uh, nice and good. Now we'll just wait for the grill to be ready. So we'll heat up the, the grill, but then we want to cool it down. Our cooking temperature today is going to be 325 degrees. And that's critical for making sure that these are the most perfect ribs ever. Okay, great. Okay, so now the, the ribs are uh, all ready and the charcoal is all ready. So now it's time for us to tip out the charcoal. Oh, it's so hot. Hot, 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 hot. Whew. All right, let's get that out of the way so no one is going to burn themselves. All right, so charcoal is on there nice and ready. Let's stick the lid on. What we want to do is we want to choke down the flames uh, so we can get the temperature to 325. So let's get it nice and closed off. And then we're going to have to wait for about 10, 15 minutes for the temperature to drop down. To 325 and that's what we're going to cook the ribs at today 
Okay, we are ready to uh, cook the ribs here. So we've got our ribs ready. Our grill is nice and ready. And uh, what we're going to do here is just uh, take the lid off. And uh, today we're going to be using a little bit of uh, mesquite wood to add some nice smoke. So let's just pop the grill here. Get our uh, mesquite wood on there. Pop that back down. And then take our, uh, our uh, ribs here. And we're going to lay them straight on the grill. Right, so these are going to cook for 90 minutes. Okay, uh, so let's set our, uh, our alarm clock for uh, 90 minutes. Let's go. And we'll come back to them in uh, an hour and a half. All right, so everything should be ready now. Let's take a look at our ribs. And as you can see, they are looking absolutely lovely, lovely. So we're gonna prepare the next stage and uh, I just take this uh, silver foil here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spoon out some brown sugar. And I'm going to put this out here. Now this is going to give us a sweet candy bark on our ribs. And the brown sugar is also going to add some nice color as well. So we'll spread that out like that. And on top of there, we're going to squirt some parquet squirt butter, like this. And then we're going to take some tiger sauce, also available from barbecuerubs.com. This is going to create a nice bit of heat. We're going to take a little bit of syrup, you can use honey. You can use agave, but this is just a little bit of extra sweetness here. And again, some of our rub. So let's sprinkle that rub on there. And let's go rescue our ribs. I'm going to take these ribs and place them meat side down, like that. A little bit of extra on there. Straighten these out and we're going to wrap them up. We're going to foil them and we're going to stick them back on the grill again at 325 and cook them for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Okay, time has passed now and let's uh, take a look at our, uh, our ribs. So uh, this has been in there for uh, 45 minutes. And uh, let's grab uh, one of the fire gloves here. Wrong hand. Right hand. Okay. Don't, we don't want to burn our hands. So, get these on. And let's rescue our package. Okay. Let's take a look at what we got here. Open this bad boy up. Oh, this is looking delightful. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn these over and then we're going to put uh, barbecue sauce on them and then we're going to broil it. So let's take these inside and let's get them under the broiler. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, some commercial uh, barbecue sauce. I'm using the uh, no high fructose corn syrup one from Weber. And we're going to slather it all over here. And what we're going to do is just take a uh, spoon. And just spread it all over. And take a little bit more of our rub, which here is a rib tickler, and just give it a little dusting. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to sit these into the oven, and we're going to broil it. Okay, so these look really uh, ready. Let's pull these out. Woo! Look at that. That's absolutely delicious. Right, so let's leave these on the side now. We're going to give them 10 minutes just to uh, uh, cool down, and then we'll uh, carve them up. So uh, 
At this point, what I'd recommend is taking a little bit less of your, uh, your rub here and just a final dusting. Just a little last bit of flavor and just let that settle. So let's wait 10 minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll cut them up. Okay, so everything's now ready for us to cut up. We've given 10 minutes for the ribs to uh, relax and let's uh, separate these. Uh, so we're gonna just make a cut between the, uh, the bones. Use your, uh, your uh, little uh, forks here to find where the bones are and uh, just slice through. As you can see, these are absolutely delicious. My mouth is watering just cutting through these. They're tricky. Remember that some of the bones curve, as they do here. And I want to try and get some really nice straight cuts. You don't want to tear any of the bark, because that is, as my grandfather would say, the good stuff. Oh, that's torn a little bit. We're almost through all of these. So uh, for me, if you're going to enter these into a competition, go for the ones that are uh, more even. Uh, perhaps these two here, these look really good. Uh, but right now that is uh, ready to be plated up. So we're going to get them onto the plate. And uh, the rub that we used here is a Williams Food Co. Rib Tickler. Available from barbecuerubs.com. Uh, just click on the link. All right, so the great thing about barbecue now, of course, is uh, eating them, and uh, we're halfway through these uh, delicious ribs, and uh, just look at this. I mean, the, uh, the bark here is absolutely uh, fantastic. You see there's a great uh, pink smoke ring on these ribs. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Candy flavoring on the top. It's sweet. It's spicy from the hot sauce, and look at that, a nice good uh, teeth marks on that. But um, this comes off real easy. <laughs> the bone comes away clean, and uh, absolutely delicious, beautiful, uh, awesome ribs. You really must try this recipe. Um, it takes three hours, which is modified from the original five hour recipe. <laughs> but uh, I'm in for a real treat for the rest of the night. So. Uh, I'm going to get on with these ribs. Okay, so that's how you can make Johnny Triggs fantastic recipe ribs. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, a little bit of a complicated uh, recipe. The important thing is to get the timing right and to get the temperatures right. Just as a reminder, it's 325 degrees. You first cook on the, uh, the grill for an hour and a half. And then you're going to foil it. You're going to cook it for 45 minutes. And then you're going to broil it for 15 minutes. Um, make sure that you let the ribs sit for 10 minutes before you slice them and uh, enjoy. I mean, it's a great recipe and uh, all the ingredients to make Johnny Triggs uh, famous ribs are available from barbecuerubs.com. And uh, thank you for watching this video today. And uh, whatever you're cooking, I hope that it turns out really nice for you. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you again.